Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. If you do a quick internet search for UV rays, the list of links that comes up on page one include things like the FDA, the WHO, the CDC, the EPA, NASA, and the Skin Cancer Foundation. So while we know that getting a little sunshine is good for us, clearly ultraviolet rays are not something to be trifled with. Now, UV rays are broken down into three categories based on their wavelengths. Uh, UVA rays have the longest wavelength. We know that they are responsible for skin damage and aging. UVB rays penetrate the skin a little deeper, and they're responsible for certain cancers such as melanoma. Now, UVC rays have the shortest wavelength, and therefore are the deepest penetrating and most dangerous. Luckily, the atmosphere filters out or blocks most UVC rays coming from the sun. But don't worry, we figured out how to make our own. Now, knowing that these UVA, B, and C rays are out there, we should have a way to see them, to monitor them, to keep an eye on them, but they're outside the visible spectrum. Well, that's where these two boards come in. Introducing the new SparkFun Spectral UV Sensor and the SparkFun Mini Spectral UV Sensor. These boards use the AS7331 UV Sensor from AMS Osram to measure UV radiation on three channels, UVA, UVB, and UVC, each with its own dedicated photodiode for high sensitivity and accuracy. It has a high dynamic range of up to 3.43E plus 10, that's resolution multiplied by gain range, and offers a range of 12 gain steps by a factor of two for each step. Now, the board's operating voltage is between 2.7 and 3.6 volts DC, and its current consumption is typically around 1.42 milliamps during active measurement, 970 microamps in standby, and one microamp in power down mode. It offers the user four different operating modes, single measurement, continuous measurement, synchronized start measurement, and synchronized start-stop measurement. Both boards have a pair of quick connectors and four adjustable I2C addresses, which can be set via the A0 and A1 jumpers on the boards. Now, despite the warnings from many three and four letter agencies, there are certainly benefits to ultraviolet rays. There's certainly the benefit of getting out and getting a little sunlight now and then. Additionally, UV light is great for killing bacteria. It's also useful for curing certain inks and rosins, even for phototherapy. The problem, of course, is that we can't see it. In order to use it properly, we need to be able to measure it or see it somehow. In fact, if you look at most reviews for handheld sanitizing devices, they pretty much all say the same thing. I think it's a great device, but I can't really tell if it's on. Now, the problem there is, what do you do if you can't tell if a light is on? You look at it. And with ultraviolet rays, especially UVC, that's a really terrible idea. Well, that's where these sensors come in. Now, I've built one of our sensors into a small handheld device here, so I can get our UV ratings at the push of a button. All right, so let's try it out. Oh, safety first. UV glasses. Cassie, safety first. Great, so if I'm just to take a measurement of the room, I'm under LED lights here. I think neons are fluorescents overhead. I've got a reading of zero all across the board. Zero A, zero at B, and zero at UVC. So now let's turn on our magic wand. Now, if you look at the FDA's uh, site, they have multiple pages, there we go, of devices like this to avoid. Uh, they have absolutely no restrictions and they're gonna blast you out. So FDA says avoid these. This is one of the good brands, I checked. So if we turn this on, there we go. You can probably, especially through the camera, see a little bit of purple light coming out of there. But let's see what the reading says. If I take a reading, 66.41, 150.61, and for UVC, 80.41. So there you go. I've got my readings, and that is a much better way to do it than have me actually look at it. Okay. Now right now, I just have this reading locally, but because I built this project with an ESP32, I could easily, with just a few more lines of code, transmit this data to a hub and read it from anywhere. And that's great if you've got an enclosure that you're using to clean your cell phone or your jewelry or whatever with UV light in there, or on a larger scale, if you've got a room that you're sanitizing or even a greenhouse where you're bombarding your plants with UV lights. You'll know what the levels are without having to walk in there eyes wide open. Again, that's bad. So keep your stuff clean and yourself safe with the new SparkFun Spectral UV Sensor in either the one by one footprint or the mini. Get yours over on our website, and as always, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. some sunshine and there's some other things too they're good oh they're good oh yeah it kills bacteria 
is that they fall outside of the visible. We need some way to remember what comes next. Yeah.